along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Let's send it down to Ray Ferraro, who is between both benches rinkside, Ray. I want to see tonight, James, who's going to be able to take care of the puck. Both teams have been plagued by turnovers of late. They turn the puck over, they make themselves defend way more often than need be. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Avs start with possession as we are now underway. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Rips it off target. Cece's got the puck along the wing. The Leafs played along the boards. Right in the slot. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Colorado's across the blue line. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, just wide. He didn't miss that by much. He got lots on it. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Here he is all alone, right in the open ice. And he comes up with a big stop on the breakaway. Almost like the shooter waited and waited and the opening never came. Strong defensive effort. Slides it diagonally to Matthews. Dumps it into the O-zone. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Colorado's in now. Into the corner. Here's a shot blocked in traffic. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Quick feed to Donskoy. Just wide. Puck battle along the boards. Passes the puck over to Matthews. Toronto's playing it through the neutral zone. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one with the stop. Toronto's won the draw. Scooped up along the wall by Muzzin. Here's a shot. Stopped by the blocker. And now he moves it to Barry. Slides the puck down low. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call from the official. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck, you get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. Toronto's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the... From in the two teams so far, the game is still scoreless, of course. But here's a power play. You've got a chance to change that in the next couple of minutes. Gets it out of his own end. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Kapanen's got it across the line. Takes the shot. Nothing doing. Moves it quickly over to Kapanen. Off a stick. Trying to get it down the ice. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Quick pass to Spezza. And now he moves it quickly to Nylander. Looks to set up at the point now. Hammers it on net. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. Goalie looks like he's waving at the puck as it goes past him. Tried to make the big stop, doesn't get it. The Leafs have the game's first goal here, just past the midway mark of the first. I wondered what the first break was going to be. They have a chance, they take advantage, now they lead. Taken by Gerard and tries to make a diagonal pass to McKinnon. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop! Anderson's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. More than half the frame has been played here. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Matthews wins the draw on their own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it to Barry. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Toronto's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. 
And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside Whoa. the defensive zone. Carries it in. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Takes the feet at the back end. Knocked away. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Now a quick pass to Rantanen. Moves the puck. Oh, comes up with a stop. Picked up along the wall by... Toronto's done a great job without the puck. Nice pick off there. This game's close because of it. Along the half wall with the puck. Move to the middle. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Sends it over to McKinnon. McKinnon's got it along the wing. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. We used to call this the tic-tac kaboom. Nice move, but all of a sudden you don't have the puck. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Battling for it along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by McKinnon. Carries it across the line. Fires one. Denied by the blocker. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Sends it in deep. Last minute of play. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Zadorov. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Comfers won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. He scores! This is like the hockey equivalent of a buzzer beater, eh? Yeah, it didn't look like there was going to be enough time. The puck's in the net. And now they feel really good about themselves going into the next period. Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows them to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. Across to Janssen. And that'll do it for period number one. All evened up at one goal apiece. Fans take a look to the sky. The home team Zeppelin is loaded with prizes headed your way all intermission long. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Avs burped the puck up constantly in that first period. Probably pretty lucky the game's tied. James, when you look forward to the rest of this game, they have to do a much better job when they have the puck to make sure they keep it. Unloads it! Denies him on the play! Branton and swooping in on the attack. Shot stopped by the goaltender. Great reflexes, another save. Now, positionally, he's in the right spot here. That's a hard shot. He made it look rather easy. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Puck dumped in. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Through center along the wing. Puck scooped up by McKinnon. Handles the puck at the point. And that goes off a player in front. And now it's grabbed by Landeskog. Puck knocked loose after that hit. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play.
Kadri's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Comes up with the stop. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Hammers him into the boards. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. From the opposite point. Makes the save. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come on the attack. Big hit. Bro, James, sometimes you think you can get through a lane, but the lane is closed. That's a dead end. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. That's going to rattle your molars around there. That is an enormous hit that he took. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Over the line they come. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Morris moving it ahead. Back at the point, they set it up. Comes up with the stop. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Timmons works the puck in his own zone. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. There's a collision. Muzzin's got it along the boards. Here's a shot. Easily turned away by the glove. Oh, sometimes you think you got lots of room to make a move. Not there. He got closed down and hammered. What a hit. Past the midway mark in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck grabbed by Muzzin. Receives the pass. With possession along the wall. Snaps one here in the slot. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Tavares has won the faceoff. Oh, that's a good hit. Great defensive stick work on the play. Graves moves it into the attacking end. Shot, and that one stopped. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Marner's going to play it against the half wall. The Avs have it against the wall. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Stops him cold. They fight for it along the boards. Colorado's got it from behind the net. Quick feed to Kapanen. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends it over. Blocker save. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes it across the blue line. Quick shot. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Leafs look to start the transition game. And it's a quick pass to Matthews. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Stopped by the blocker. And makes the save. Puts it up front. Wrist one in front. And that's blocked away. From one point man to another. With the stop. Taken along the wall by Jost. donskoy has got the puck. Puts it on net. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Look out, a two-on-one. Easily turned away by the goaltender. Oh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of him.
And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Nieto's got it on the offensive end. Second period is in the book, still too close to call. We are tied at one. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer service kiosk at section 144 on the concourse before the end of tonight's game. To claim the third box. period is just Thank moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. It's been a fun one so far, all tied up as we are now underway here in the third period. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Musa quickly over to McKinnon. Slides the puck over. Skates in behind the cage. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to CeCe. Carries it in. Rocks him on the play. Sends it down low. Tees it up from the blue line. Denies him with the save. Musa to Barner. Moves the puck across to Rantanen. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Dialed in on that stop. Quick feed to Tavares. Tavares setting up against the wall. Rips it on net. Comes up with the stop. Slides the puck down low. Shot and makes the save. Carries it across the line. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Kapanen's moving the puck through his own zone. Slides the puck near the front of the net. The Avalanche have taken possession in their own end. Nice pass. And a beautiful stop by the glove. I like how this shot was delivered. It's off the stick. And it's got a lot of velocity on it, but that's a really good pad save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that carries off a stick. Matthews moves it ahead. Sent into the offensive zone. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Musa quickly over to Janssen. Sends it in on the attack. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Nieto's got it into offensive territory. On the attack along the boards. On the doorstep. Can't connect. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Musin. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Gives it right back. Quick pass to Kerfoot. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Zadorov's getting two for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. Riley's carrying it ahead. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face off just outside the offensive zone. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Janssen's got it against the boards. Takes that pass back at the point. The Avs will kill off a few extra seconds now. 
and manages to clear the zone. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's a great read to pick off the pass. The Leafs have it from their own end. Riley's got it across the line. Takes the feed. Pass back to the point. And he slides it quickly to Marner. And he slides it quickly to Riley. Both teams back to even strength as the power play expires and we are still tied here. Wow, that seems like a big miss, James. Critical moment in the game and the power play laid flat for them. And a great save! Matthews plays it now. Here they come on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Janssen. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Into the offensive zone. Slides it across. Big time stop. Anderson's right on top of that chance. Great A spot. Great A save. Hangs onto the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Feeds it down low. Big time stop there. Matthews has it at center ice. Here's a chance. Here's the pass. Wide of the net. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Landeskog swooping in on the attack. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And they can't finish that one. And he puts it into his own net. I'm not so sure he was aware of his surroundings there. Turns around and puts the puck right in the middle of his own net. Toronto's up by one now here in this third period. Well, you don't have much breathing room, but I guess it's better to be in front than behind. They'll want to continue to try to forecheck. He probably wouldn't make that play about 10 minutes ago, but now with a lead in the dying moments of the game, that's a safe, smart play. Moves it to Rantanen. To his teammate. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado's got it behind the net. Over the line they come. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Back to the point it goes. Uh-uh. Nice block. Here's a short pass to Kadri. Denied by the blocker. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. He's not had a break since that puck hit the ice about two hours ago. Every time they come into the zone, he's forced to make another stop. Spets has won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. They kept getting to throw that power play back out there, James. Finally, they were able to execute and cash in on them. That was the difference. They looked really good and effective on some nights where that power play can be a bit of a clunker. Not tonight. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.